There is no reason why we cannot have night courts and provide safety and security for litigants and members of the judicial service. Ladies and gentlemen, prisoners are human and must be treated fairly. We will do this by establishing courts within the prisons of prisons, just as has been done within the prisons of the Nsawan Medium Security Prison. We will ensure better care for our prisoners by expanding the prisons and providing separate block, uh, blocks for remand prisoners so that they are not joined up with convicted prisoners. We will ensure improvement in their feeding and their medical care. While improving the Alternative Dispute Resolution Act 2010, Act 798 to deliver justice, we will conduct a comprehensive review of legal education. There are huge shortfalls in both residential and office accommodation across all the security services. These we will aggressively tackle from our first day in office. We will enhance medical packages for serving and retired personnel and their families. We will ensure continuous review of UN operational allowances. We will review the appointment of the heads of security agencies and parliamentary oversight over security and intelligence agencies and actively engage the services of private security organizations who adhere to decent work and provide fair wages for their employees. I therefore you wish to use this opportunity to urge our men and women in uniform to remember to abide by their oaths of office, to protect and defend our constitution before, during, and after this general election. Finally, on security, I call for calm to prevail in Boko. I appeal to all sides to exercise restraint and silence the weapons. Resolving the Boko conflict will be one of my first priorities when I become president. <laughs> <laughs>